And Best recently analyzed the performance of its rated health insurers since the October 2017 update to Best Credit Rating Methodology. Here to discuss this analysis is Associate Director Bridget Mayer. And Bridget, how fundamental is BCAR to uh, the balance sheet assessment? And also, are there any other factors? Uh, BCAR score levels are critical to our analysis because they help um, assess the risk inherent in rating units, investment and insurance operations relative to available capital. Um, additionally, median BCAR scores of higher rated U.S. Uh, health insurers are positive at all value at risk levels. Um, some of the other factors that we do look at um, in the overall balance sheet assessment include liquidity and financial flexibility. Um, given the short tail nature um, of the health claims, health insurers are looked to have strong liquidity and good financial flexibility. Um, and best assessment focuses on an insurer's ability um, to supplement operating, operating cash flows and access additional capital in a stressed environment. Um, quality of assets is another factor that we do look at. Um, health insurers' portfolios um, tend to be um, conservative with higher allocations to investment grade, um, moderately uh, moderate duration uh, fixed income securities. Um, however, there has been a trend towards uh, leaning a little bit more towards riskier assets such as equities and, inv and alternative investments, which we also take into consideration. Um, when we're doing our assessment. Um, and then overall, uh, the quality of capital is something that we look at. Generally, the health insurer's um, capital is derived from retained earnings or contributive capital. However, some states uh, regulators um, prefer surplus notes. Um, so we do um, look at that a little less uh, favorably as converse contr um, contributed capital from the parent organizations. Um, and then overall, about 60% uh, of health insurers have balance sheet assessments of strongest or very strong. And that's predominantly from their BCOR scores and their investment portfolios. Are there any other metrics that AM Best uses in operating performance assessment? Um, we look at return on revenue, return on equity, and combined ratios. Um, to assess health insurers' operating performance. Um, we also look at um, premium growth trends, underwriting income by line of business, and total net income. Uh, the volatility of the results is also a key factor in the operating performance uh, assessment, as stable earnings trends is a key driver of consistent capital growth, um, while volatile results are a primary driver of capital deterioration. Higher operating assessments typically have lower volatility in the results. Um, overall, 57% of the health rating units um, operating performance assessments are adequate. While health insurers have generally reported profitable underwriting results and modest to moderate premium growth, operating mar margins for the uh, health insurers tend to be on the lower side. What are the factors that are considered in the business profile assessment? Um, we consider um, market position, uh, level co of competition, um, geographic and product diversification, and the regulatory environment. These are some of the factors that we're looking at in the business uh, profile assessment. 47% um, of the health rating units have a business profile assessment of limited. Competition is viewed negatively for about 71%. And regulatory is viewed negative for 51% of all of the um, U.S. health rating units. Additionally, lack of geographic diversification is another contributing factor in a limited uh, business profile assessment. Health, and furthermore, um, health insurers typically don't diversify out uh, to non-insurance um, product lines. Instead, they diversify by business segment. What are the considerations when determining a company's level of enterprise risk management? As part of the assessment, um, we look at the risk culture of the organization. Um, if they have a developed uh, risk framework, which is in line with the size and complexity of their operations, and if they have risk uh, management capabilities that are aligned with the risk profile. Um, the majority of um, the majority, 82% of the health uh, rating units um, were assessed as appropriate. 
while this may seem high, um, U.S. health insurers have faced a uh, challenging operating and regulatory environment since the implementation of the Affordable Care Act. Their ERM capabilities um, need to keep pace with the ever-changing health insurance uh, marketplace. Thanks, Bridget. Thank you. That was Associate Director Bridget Mayer, and I'm John Weber for AM Best TV.